What the hell is it? Could be a rock or some sort of fossil. We picked it up in the Landstat satellite. First, we thought it was a cap deposit, but the resolution is definitely solid. How deep in the ice is it? Four, maybe five meters. What do we do about it? I talked to the NASA research station over Rundle Peak. They'll take it until it melts and then decide what to do with whatever it is after that. All right, dig it up. Language is a signaling system that uses sounds to convey thoughts and emotions. What makes humans unique is our ability to introduce into language thoughts about the past, present, or future at any point in time and space. She'll call you back. <laughs> Not all language is based on sound. We communicate in other ways that are much less overt than the spoken word. So do animals. The only difference between them and us can be summarized in one word, novelty. When an animal gives a warning that danger is imminent, it uses a series of fairly predictable calls or signals that animals of its kind have used before. This is decidedly not the case with humans. Oxford English Dictionary lists 615,000 words in the English language. That's 3,000 more than five years ago and thousands less than a few years from now. On the other hand, there's little or no novelty in animal language. Tragically, English cows make the same sounds as French cows. <laughs> Julian! Um, Sam. listen, uh, Bachman called. He, uh, wants to see you right away. Why? I don't know. Sam! You sound like there was a problem. Come in. Good afternoon, John. Ah, Julian. Come in, sit down. A certain matter has come to my attention. John, I... About the student. I, I've been meaning to talk to you about her and... <laughs> I don't think I want to know about that. No. Look, do you know who Alexei Gerak is? Uh, uh, Stanford Genetics. Yes, I met him once at a faculty thing when I was there. Well, two years ago, he went to the Antarctic to head up a new research project for NASA. Yesterday, I received this from him. The satellite imaged an unidentified mass in the ice shelf down there. It appears to measure approximately six meters long by three wide. At first, they thought it might be a rock slag or a fossilized whale. But now they're not so sure. Why? Well, station telemetry identified some sort of uh, radio signal being emitted from it. Really? They burned a spectrogram of it on this CD. I thought you might like to look at it. Plain or with cheese? I don't care. Look at this. What do you got? Look, that. Non-random? Definitely. Fixed length pulse groups, discriminant text, consisting of prime numbers repeated over and over. What about a meteorite? A meteorite as big as they say this is, would have left a mile wide freighter in the ice shelf. A meteorite would explain an electromagnetic pulse. Not a non-random signal. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> That's a kick-ass frequency. You know the dish transmitter it is? Eagle, a thousand feet in diameter. Most powerful on Earth. This signal's stronger, and it's coming from something the size of a pickup truck. 